Hey singers, thanks for watching this video, and a special thanks to those of you who have subscribed. Last night I was able to surpass 100,000 subscribers. That's a pretty big deal, and I really appreciate you pushing that button because I know without you it wouldn't have happened. Thank you so much. This video is going to help those of you that have difficulty singing intervals to be able to sing them in tune. I have identified over the past 15 years as I've been teaching higher education sight singing classes, which helps people see music and sing it at sight and understand and hear those intervals. Okay, The difficult intervals that I'm going to help you with today are the tritone. The tritone is the augmented fourth or diminished fifth. It's all the same thing. Three titles for the same interval. I'll explain it later. Okay, the descending perfect fifth, that's also difficult. Its friend, the descending perfect fourth, is much easier. The descending minor sixth is also difficult until you can hear how it fits in harmony. And then lastly, the descending minor seventh. I hope that you'll stay tuned and learn some tricks that will help you with these intervals. Let's first talk about the tritone. The tritone, if you're thinking about solfege, is T to Fa. Okay, so let's draw a treble clef here. All right, we're going to draw a little scale. So Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, T, Do, Re, Mi, Fa. Of course, this is in the key of C. Okay, so our half steps occur right here and right here. Those half steps are like magnets. Half steps want to pull in. So if I was to take, I forgot to mark this one up here too, okay, because that's the same as this, a mi fa, but up here. So, right here, if we have T, and right here, we have Fa, you look at that, if you look at it alone, you say T, Fa, you say, wait, that's just a fifth, right? One, two, three, four, five. Well, not quite. A perfect fifth sounds very similar to an octave. Now listen to this T fa. Okay? T fa. That does not sound like an octave. That's a very dissonant interval, okay? Sounds like your worst nightmare for an, a wake up alarm, doesn't it? Okay? So the reason that sounds so volatile is because it wants to go somewhere, okay? Now the T fa wants to move in like magnets. Okay, so it wants to go like this up to Do. The T wants to go to Do. T, Do. Okay, once again, that's a half step. Okay, and then Fa wants to go down to Mi. Fa, Mi. Okay, so if you just sing T, Fa, me do okay it lands and says oh okay now that's a stable place so t fa me do that little pattern i just sang for you is a great way to feel and understand the tritone okay think of where it's going not just why it's dissonant t fa T fa do mi T fa mi do. Okay, if you have a hard time finding the tritone first, go do mi, and then go do T fa mi 
ti fa ti fa. Okay, so that is the tritone. Okay, let's talk about the minor sixth. Minor sixth is this interval. We're going to write do. Okay, and then we're going to write mi below. That is a minor sixth. Do to me. Now listen to that. Do me. Okay. Now listen when I, if I was to take that interval and then move the bottom note up a half step. Ah, it resolves again. Okay. So do me. All I'm doing is moving it up to this. The reason that is sounds like it wants to resolve there is because this half step again between me and fa. Okay? So do me fa. So if you want to hear the minor sixth, you don't need to resolve it, but you can understand where it may be going. So do me do me all right i hope that's helpful okay the descending fifth is also difficult to hear i'm going to give you a little way to remember this if you can go from so down to do okay so to do that's a perfect fifth down okay Listen to it. So, fa, mi, re, do, or so, mi, do. All right? So, let's practice that, and I want you to sing so, mi, do in whatever key we're in. So, here's a new so. So, mi, do. Let's do one that's not very related. So, mi, do. Okay, how about this one? So, mi, do. Okay, now sing the me in your mind. So, do. Okay, does that help? The easiest way to understand a descending minor seventh scale or an ascending minor seventh scale, whatever you want to study, is to recognize that it's the outer notes of the dominant seventh chord. Okay, so if I go here and I say, all right, here is a fa and here is a so. Okay, so the dominant seventh chord is so, t, Re, Fa. It sounds like this. And it wants to resolve to this. Ah, so that outer note, that top note wants to move down to me. Okay, so this wants to move right here to me. All right, so if you were to find that harmony in your mind, not only would it help you to be able to understand how to sing the descending seventh, but it would also help you um, understand the harmony that is likely happening in the music. Now, yes, there are other harmonies that use the minor seventh, but this is by far the most common. So, let me show you a little hint here. You sing the fa first. Fa go up a major second, so, drop the octave, so, do, hmm. so, fa, so, do, 
Okay, so it's about looking for resolution, looking for that stable chord. So, fa, so. Okay, that's a whole step. Then drop the octave. And then if you want to resolve it completely, you've got to go up the perfect fourth to Do. Okay, so let's practice that together. Fa, so, so, Do. Fa, so, so, Do. Now what if we were to try that in a different key? Okay, you're going to have to understand how to sing that low octave, but it should feel natural to you. So here is a new Fa. First of all, you in your mind, you could go like this. Fa, mi, fa, mi, mi, do, fa, mi. Okay, that mi will help you. So now if we go fa, so, so, do, fa, so, fa, so. Do you hear it? So let's do another one. Let's hear that mi right there. Here's a new pitch. Okay, so this is Fa. Fa. Think me. Fa, me. Fa, me, do. Okay, so here's Fa, so, so, do. Fa, so, Fa, so. That is the easiest way to find a descending minor seventh. Please comment below if there are other intervals that are difficult for you to hear. I'd love to make a video to help you become the best sight singer and music hearer that you can. Please take care.